Hey everybody, this is Frilly and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this tiny, super efficient Minecraft iron farm that works in Java 1.21. It's got a super tiny footprint of only 5x5. Five five. I'm going to put onto the screen all of the items you need to build this thing now, so pause the video if you need to. Good, now let's get on and build this thing. So to start with, you're going to need an area that is just five by five. It's very tiny, five by five. Uh, and then you want to start at the back left and you want to put down a row of solid blocks like that. Then around the front and then back down the right hand side like that. And then back on the left, you want to put two solid blocks there and then you want to cover the front in glass. around to there. Now you don't need to use glass, you can use uh, solid blocks if you want, but then you won't be able to see inside. Uh, and I like looking at my little villagers being scared to death. And then another three blocks there like that. And then over the top, you just want to put another line of solid blocks like that. So now you should have something that looks like that. So now we need to put the beds in. Now you need to put the beds in with the head of the bed facing the front of the farm. Don't put them in the other way round. The zombie might be able to reach them if you do that. So put them in this way round. Very important. Then stick down a line of a column of uh, stone, solid blocks, a solid block there. And then underneath that, you'll need to put down uh, a slab. Pop out those two blocks here. That's where your zombie is going to be standing. Zombie's going to be standing in here, scaring them to death. Your villagers are going to be in here. This little area here is very important. That's the area where the villagers can stand and feel safe. When they're here, they'll be able to see the zombie. If they're here, they won't be able to see the zombie and they'll sleep uh, and they'll feel okay. If they're continually scared, if they're scared all the time, they won't go to sleep. And if they can't sleep, they won't make golems. Okay, so it is important that there is this little area. And because of the hitboxes of the villagers, they can't all stand in there together. So at least one of them is going to be stood outside. He's going to look over here. Oh my God, there's a zombie! And, uh, and then zombies uh, and then golems will form okay now you want to uh, you want to stick down a stair an upside down stair just there so you, you, your zombies are going to be uh, you got zombies going to be still in there now stick down a temporary block there and there and this is where you need to stick down your trap doors now you don't need to put trap doors here this is an aesthetic thing uh, which I, I particularly like. It just means you can't see the zombie from the outside when you're accessing the chests. You just won't be able to see the zombie. You don't need them. Um, you can put them there if you want. Like that. Now you need to get out on top of your farm. Up here. Stick down a couple of solid blocks there like that. And then you want to put down some slabs there. It's very important that these are slabs and not solid blocks. Okay, now you can walk underneath them, but a villager can't. The villager will, will be in here. Okay, he cannot go under here. And that's very important. If he gets here, the zombie will be able to hit him. Okay, so he needs to be able to stand just on the head part of the bed. And that slab there will stop him from getting any closer and, and being hit by the, the zombie. Now in these holes here, you need to put down your iron trap doors. Like that. Okay, that's going to stop the, uh, the water from flowing in. It's spawnable, so the golem can spawn on top of it, but it also allows the villagers to move back and forward in here. If you put slabs up there, the villager's head will be just inside the slab and they won't be able to move. So this villager will be here, he will be continually frightened and he won't make a golem, he won't be able to sleep or anything. Okay, so these need to be uh, slabs there, trap doors here. Like that. Now pop down at the back of the farm, you can whip out those two temporary blocks. In here you want to put down your chests. So stick down your chests, there and there, there and there. Then take out your hoppers, crouch, make sure the nozzle of the hopper is pointing into the side of the chest. Same with that one. And then up on the top, 
hopper into that hopper and two more hoppers like that. That's going to collect all of your poppies and your iron. Then pop back up on top of your farm, take out your walls and put three wall blocks on top of your hoppers like that. And take out your stairs again and you want to put a stair there and a stair there. They're going to be waterlogged and they're going to allow all of the iron that falls in your farm to, uh, to go down and be picked up by the hoppers. Now whip out your solid blocks again, put solid blocks all the way around the bottom like that. And now you can stick in your cauldron. So stick down two temporary blocks there and there. Take out your cauldron. You can break those two blocks now. And take out your lava and just put lava in that cauldron. Okay. Now whip out your glass blocks again. These don't have to be glass, but again, I just, I like seeing it. My uh, column, dancing. Two rows of glass at the top. Now over the top of it, completely cover it with slabs. Now the reason for using slabs is that uh, they're not spawnable. So the golem won't be able to spawn on top and neither will any other mobs. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now you need to take out your water and you need to waterlog those two stairs. One there and one there. So now when the golem spawns inside there, it's going to die because of the uh, uh, the cauldron full of lava, it's going to burn and then all of the drops are going to fall into the water and then go back into the into the hoppers, then into the chests. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now before we start putting the golems, uh, sorry, before we start putting the villagers and the zombie in there, we need to spawn proof the area. Golems will spawn seven blocks away from the villager that calls for the golem. So the villagers are going to be there. So seven blocks away from that spot, the head of the bed, a golem could spawn. Okay, so all of this area needs to be spawn proof. Now I'm going to be using carpet, but you can use glass, you can use path blocks, uh, you can use slabs, any non-spawnable block. Okay, and make sure if you're building this at ground level, make sure there are no caves or uh, hollows underneath the ground down to 10 blocks. Okay, if there are, a golem could spawn underground, it will break your farm. Okay, so spawn proof, don't just put lights down there, lights won't stop golems from spawning. You'll need to completely fill it in or slab it if it's a, a little cave or something like that. So now we've done that, we can start getting the, the villagers in there. Now the easiest way to get villagers in there is to do it at night because they will, if you get them close, they will automatically locate the bed and they will jump into the bed and go to sleep. Try to get your villagers in first. Getting your villagers in after you've got your zombie in is really, really difficult. Okay, so get your villagers into the farm first. Now you can get them over here in boats, in minecarts, uh, using beds. Uh, uh, However you get them over, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to spawn them in though, because I can. So now we've got our three villages. We need for it to, we need to get dark. And as if by magic, it gets dark. And now we just need to pop out a couple of these blocks to allow the guys to go in and locate a bed. Perfect, and then you can put these blocks back in again, like that. Now we need to get a zombie into the farm. Uh, and to do that, you just need to entice a zombie from wherever it is you get zombies from. Zombies are us or something. But before you do that, you just need to, to make a, a space for them to be able to get into. We need him to go into here. Okay? So if we pop out those two blocks there like that, and then put some slabs there, we're going to get him to follow us into this hole. We're going to run through and we're going to jump out the other side. Okay, but the zombie won't be able to 
follow us because we'll have some slabs there. We'll have a slab there. So we can we can drop in the hole, we can run through, we can crouch, and we can get out. And then the zombie won't be able to climb out that side and he won't be able to get through this side. He's going to be stuck in there. Okay? Now the minute the, uh, the zombie is in the hole, those villagers are going to panic and because they've slept, they're going to call a golem. The golem should spawn at the top of the farm, but he could spawn on a block that's spawnable. Okay, he won't spawn underneath because there are blocks above him, but he could spawn here. So to prevent that, temporarily stick down a carpet just there, just as a safe, like a belt and braces protection really. You don't want the, zombie, uh, the uh, golem spawning in here uh, because uh, it'll mess up the entire farm so now we've done that little bit we need to we need to entice a zombie over here we don't need a little zombie that's one thing we don't need so now we need to entice a zombie over here now, even if this guy is carrying something, or if he's got armor on, or anything like that, you still need to name tag him. It's best practice just to name tag him. And then we need to get him inside the farm. So I'm going to put myself in survival, uh, and hopefully this is going to work. See, I've already tried this before a few times. We need to get him in here. We need to get through here. We need to crouch. Out the other side. He's stuck in there. Perfect. So now we've got him in there. We can uh, we can block him in. Uh, so you need to stick down another slab there like that. And then fill in that block. Fill in those. Put that carpet back down again. Make sure you put the carpet down. So uh, golems can't spawn. We now need to block him into there without him being able to get out. So don't move these slabs straight away. Otherwise that would be bad. We need to block him in like that there like so then you can pop those out put the uh, the carpet back down again and that's it he's in there now and the farm should work so now you should have something that looks like that now during the day these guys are just going to run around being scared they're going to uh, they're going to walk behind that block and think that they're safe and everything's going to be okay again and then they'll walk out and they'll get scared again and that's what allows the farm to work 24 7. now golem will spawn in the farm about every 45 seconds give or take uh, day and night 24 7 as long as you're in the area and the chunk is loaded. Okay, so if you build this in a spawn chunk, it'll work all the time. If you build it at your base and you're not in a spawn chunk, it will only work when you're within uh, render distance. And that depends on, obviously, uh, your server settings or your settings on your single player world. But as long as the chunk is loaded and you're within 64 blocks or so, this farm will work. So there you have it everybody, a uh, tiny little iron farm, super efficient, that works in 1.21. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, tutorial everybody, if you have please don't forget to leave it a like and if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. This is Frilly Off and I'm out of here.